Fourth of July from the town of Fort Mill. Happy Fourth of July from the town of Fort Mill. Good morning. How is everybody today? Hot. Woohoo! Warm, but we will uh, we will have a very poignant but uh, quick program uh, before we're able to fire the cannons. Want to let everybody know that if the cannons do not fire on the first time, there's a 10-minute wait. So just be patient. Would also, for safety reasons, like to ask that everyone refrain from coming into the park around the cannons. We don't want anything, no mishaps, no injuries, no anything. So please stay away from the cannons. Also, after the presentation and the firing of the cannons, our very own Mike Short will remain near the cannons. If you and your children or your family would like to come and have a little bit of information in regards to the cannons, he will be more than happy uh, to speak with you. So uh, with that, we'll start our program today. Thank you all for being here on such a beautiful day. Um, we'll start with uh, our opening prayer with Councilman Larry Huntley. Let us pray. Lord, we stand today as our forefathers have stood before you in times gone by, celebrating our history and rejoicing in all the great things our country has received. We give thanks for the blessings of liberty for this generation and for the generations to come. We thank you for our independence, peace, and all who have bravely given their lives in defense of freedom and justice. We pray that in these troubled times, brotherhood will truly reign from shore to shining shore. Amen. Thank you, Councilman Huntley, for a beautiful prayer. We'd like to recognize that we also have Councilman Ronnie Helms, Chris Moody, Lisa McCarley, Trudy Heemsaw, our prior mayor, Charlie Powers, South Carolina House Representative Brandon Newton, and South Carolina House Representative Ray Felder. If I could have a warm applause for all of those folks for being here today. Thank you. I also want to recognize uh, the, the beautiful Strawberry Queens that have joined us today. We have our Teen Queen, Georgia Devaney, our Miss Queen, Liza Walker, and our Mrs. Queen, Danielle Lennon, with us today. Can we have a round of applause for them? Uh, with that, we will now ask uh, the Honorable Fort Mill Fire Department Honor Guard to post our colors. Now we will welcome Billy Fox. Uh, no, we will welcome Danielle Lennon, our Mrs. Strawberry Festival Queen, uh, to assist us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now we'll welcome Billy Fox for our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleam? whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave, or 
o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Way to go, Billy! That was beautiful. Thank you. never see them post the flag without thinking they're out here in full dress uniform. We are so fortunate to have uh, the wonderful folks at the fire department that honor guard at every one of our events to make it special. So thank you so much for their participation. Now we'll have our special guest, Emmy Jones, uh, will sing for us, You're a Grand Old Flag. You're a grand old flag, you're a high flying flag, and forever in peace may you wait. You're the emblem of the land I love, the home of the free and the brave. Every heart beats true under red, white, and blue, where there's never a boast or brag. What should all the patents be forgot? Keep your eye on the grand old flag. You're a grand old flag, you're a high-flying flag, and forever in peace may you wait. You're the emblem of the land I love, the home of the free and the brave. Every heart beats true under red, white, and blue, where there's never a boast or brag. But should all the acquaintance be forgot, keep your eye on the grand old flag. birthday America. Today we turn 242 years young. For us, uh, this birthday is celebrated with summer heat, boy can we feel it, fireworks, picnics, boating, and in Fort Mill, family, friends, and our own cannons firing. The birthday of our country brings about images that resonate in our hearts and remind us of our great history, a history of struggle and triumph, beliefs, values, and sovereignty of sacrifice. Perhaps the most recognizable image is that of the American flag. The stripes, there are 13 for the 13 British colonies that declared independence, and proudly South Carolina was one of those. They became the first 13 states. Those stripes are symbolic of the rays of light emanating from the sun. The white stripes signify purity and innocence. The red, hardiness and valor. The stars, which there are 50 of them representing the 50 states of our country, are to depict the heavens and the divine goal to which man has aspired from time immortal. The blue stands for vigilance, perseverance, which I think we all need, and justice. Old Glory is a nickname for the flag that was owned by the 19th century American sea captain William Driver. That flag is actually at the Smithsonian now. He flew the flag during his career at sea and later brought it to Nashville, Tennessee, where he settled. When you think of Old Glory, it summons thoughts of the waving mass of red, white, and blue, the stars and stripes, a star-spangled banner, of course, Betsy Ross, the raising of the flag on Iwo Jima statues, children, as you see today, with small handheld flags. I think of athletes at the Olympics who drape themselves in flags. And then I think of the wreaths on our graves and a flag draped coffin bringing a hero home. John Wayne said, sure I wave the American flag. Do you know a better flag to wave? We are blessed to live in this country under this flag. You're a grand old flag, you're a high flying flag, and forever in peace may you wave. Thank you all for joining us today for this brief program and the excitement of 
firing the cannons. It's unique to Fort Mill, as each one of you are. Thank you for being part of our family here at Fort Mill. We hope you enjoy your day. Now we'll have Fort Mill's sweetheart, Rhonda Costner, come up and sing uh, God Bless America. We're still praying that God's going to bless America. Are you still praying that prayer? If you are, sing it with me, okay? God bless America, land that I love, stand beside her. is a special day. Uh, we have a husband and wife that will be our cannoneers this year. Uh, they are constantly giving to the town of Fort Mill of their time, their talents. They sacrifice personal time just to be with us at each of our events. So we would like to honor Representative Ray Felder and her husband Wayne Felder as our cannoneers this year. Uh, Wayne and Ray, if you'll step forward, uh, we have a medal for you. Thank you both for being with us. And I think now um, we will turn to Mike Short to ensure that the cannons are loaded. There'll be a brief delay as we clear the field in front of the cannons. We don't want to um, have anyone again harmed. We used to have an annual event that we blew the windows out of that building over there when it was the Fort Mill Times. Uh, yeah, we'll do anything for a grin, won't we? Ready? Okay, let's count down from five. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> With that, we greet the fun of July the 4th here in Fort Mill. Thanks to our fire department, our police department, our public works department, and all staff members for making this possible. And thanks to you for joining us today. Happy 4th! Woohoo!